Unitree recently unveiled its G1 robot. And much like Boston Dynamics' new electric Atlas robot, it can move like a contortionist. Let's break down the similarities and differences between these two humanoid robots and how their hypermobility may signal a shift in how humanoid robots are made and marketed. Let's get into it. In its debut video, Unitree's G1 can be seen getting punched and staying on its feet, cracking walnuts, opening a soda bottle, soldering, and showing off the many ways it can move. Unitree has been competing with Boston Dynamics in developing both two-legged and four-legged robots for several years now. While Boston Dynamics was working on its spot robot, Unitree was developing its four-legged competitors, including the B2 and smaller, more affordable units like the Go2. On the humanoid front, Boston Dynamics had been using its original hydraulic Atlas robot, now going by HD Atlas, as a research and development platform showcasing its viral dance moves and agility. Unitree's H1 robot, meanwhile, was featured in marketing materials, breaking speed records, and doing backflips without the help of hydraulics like those that powered HD Atlas. Now, Unitree has unveiled its G1 humanoid robot on the heels of Boston Dynamics, revealing its new all-electric Atlas. Boston Dynamics has said its new electric Atlas is a step toward the commercialization of its humanoid robot technology. However, the details on this new Atlas are still pretty scarce. So far, Boston Dynamics has said it will be stronger with a greater range of motion than previous iterations. The company also has said it is working on new grippers for Atlas. The G1, meanwhile, has everything from stats to pricing broken down on Unitree's website. The G1 weighs a little over 100 pounds, is just 4 feet 2 inches tall, and can fold itself into a smaller package, presumably for shipping and storage. It walks at a speed of roughly 4.5 miles per hour, has a battery life of about 2 hours, and is priced starting at $16,000. For many years, Boston Dynamics, Unitree, and others have made extra efforts to present their robots as non-threatening by showing them doing things that were pretty ordinary to see human beings do. Things like dancing, running, jumping, handling delicate objects, or walking on uneven terrain. Now it seems we're entering an era where humanoid robots are starting to go beyond the levels of strength and mobility often seen in human beings. This emerging trend could be the result of numerous companies competing in the development of humanoid robots, each trying to set themselves apart from the others. Or it could be the result of a public that's seen so many videos of robots dancing that it yearns for something new. It could also be a combination of the two. Whatever the reason, this trend could have profound implications on how humanoid robot technology is developed and put to use in the world. What do you think of hypermobility in humanoid robots? Do you think there should be any limitations on what humanoid robots are capable of or how they can be put to use? Let us know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. See you next time with the fam.